them. I was gonna rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. Impossible is nothing to somebody that tries. Everything that someone said was impossible has happened. Undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one, the only, Mike Tyson! Mostly it just changed my life because he helped me to deal with people. I know how to deal with people now. Before, I just couldn't, I couldn't talk to people. I used to always want to be alone, I, and now I learned how to deal with anyone. I could talk to anyone, even about their problems. And it's like a father and son relationship. You know, even though he is my manager and trainer, sometimes I forget that because of the way we are. Was the that... first day he even met me, the first day he met me, he took me in his house, he didn't even know me. D'Amato feels that Tyson will be the next Muhammad Ali, and he should know. Ali was also one of his students. I believe that a person dies when he no longer wants to live. But I have a reason with, with Mike here, and he gives me the motivation. I will stay alive, and I will watch him become a success, because I will not leave until that happens. And the rise again. This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look, but give Mike credit. He should be hanging on. Are you going to be heavyweight champion one day? Excuse me, say it was one. Are you going to be heavyweight champion one day? Most definitely, as good as I know, Tuesday follow Monday. This is the main event of the night. Mike is a ray of sunshine coming to the heavyweight division. He is the challenger, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, in his prom, he was a, a juggernaut. Just you couldn't stop him. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, do, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vanda Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. Guys come into the ring and they are scared. Black shoes, no socks, black trunks. As soon as you step in the ring, the other guy across the ring, what were you thinking? I mean, because he was thinking, oh, that's my ass. I have been to a lot of fights, right? And I have never heard punches. I mean, I've seen punches, but I've never heard them. They were the loudest, like I've heard your punches. Because I'm the best in the world, even though a lot of you don't like to hear it. I just, it's fact, I'm the best, you know what I mean? I sometimes, I don't want to believe in myself, but it's the truth, I'm the best. The biggest story by far did not take place in the ring. It took place in a courthouse in downtown Indianapolis, where the former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson lost the biggest fight of his life to a 108-pound opponent. After nine hours of deliberations, Mike Tyson was guilty of rape. What do you think you can tell your supporters, Mike? Tyson was eventually sentenced to 10 years in prison. Six years were suspended. She's a sick, money-hungry, She's really a bad person. After witness described Tyson as a sexual predator, some observers say that Vincent Fuller did little to discourage that image. My representation thinks I'm a monster. So if he thinks I'm a monster, what are these poor, ignorant bastards who I consider are Jews? My equals, who never stole a loaf of bread. My equals, whose mother never, ever had to sell some to their children. My equals, of course, they're going to um, convict me. He's put in prison deliberately because he's dissipating. 
Remember, he's the biggest money fighter in the world, but he's falling apart. What year is this? This is whenever, just after he lost to, uh, to Douglas. So this is like starts in the late 80s. So he gets convicted on a rape charge. King does everything he can. To keep him up. Just the opposite. He needs to put him on ice. He's falling apart. So he's going to implode. What's the best thing you can do? Take him out of circulation, and he becomes the hardest property in the world. He spent some time in incarceration. While he was in incarceration, I'm still out there fighting and, and training hard. Mm -hmm. He didn't have that right. in there. Tyson, you saw abs when he came out of prison. Remember that? I guess so. When he fought Peter McNeely, dude, he was prison jacked. That was like maybe the scariest Tyson ever. Like they finally <laughs> released him and all he'd been doing in jail is working out. I don't think he could box in jail. So I think he was just lifting weights. Remember he was super duper jacked when he got out of jail? And so when, when he came out, it's like, you know, he's training again, he's doing what he what what he knows, not what he loves. That was the most terrifying <laughs> looking Tyson ever. He just looked like he was made out of steel. Listen, um, and you know, you're in prison, you're in something that's totally new to you. You know what I mean? On this kind of level. You get provoked, I was provoked, and I said things, and things happened, and I, you know what I mean, I, I did my time for it. And it was it, and it was over. Mike Tyson was just a, f a, just a phenom, a thing that we had never seen before. He was the pit bull with no leash that respected one person. Yes. And anybody else at any given time feared the fuck out of this pit bull. <laughs> Put your mother in a straight jacket, you punk white boy. Come in and tell me that for punk white boy. You, you can't touch me, you're not man enough. I eat your ass for the lobby. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. No. Some you, you don't no. know bull, you don't Something know me. Something positive happened. Wait, I went, I went, okay, what, I went to fucking free lunch, Nick? Something positive well, happened. Well, I went to free lunch, he said it. People, you didn't connect with anybody? You didn't connect with another human being? You didn't feel the warmth of another human being or the love or the friendship or you didn't have... Uh, not uh, then, not then. Uh, okay. There's gonna be conspiracy theories about why Mike Tyson looked that dude up on that plane. That's, you know what I mean? real simple, that dude was a douchebag. And he was... Can you see the other video? Was, annoying one of the baddest motherfuckers that, that's ever walked the face of the earth. Do you still have those moments of anger? Not anger, no. But no, when I work out, I'm angry. Yeah, that's true. When I'm working out, I'm fucking fierce. I'm screaming sometimes. The anger's been there all your how old? Uh, 53 years? Yeah, but it's, but it's not towards anybody. There's no physical being that caused my anger. Nothing from a physical perspective. Not a human being, anything I can name. Uh, Anything that breathes in the core of my anger. It's all internal. All internal, yeah. Hey guys, it'd be awesome if you could purchase any Amazon products through the link I provide below to help support my channel and its production. See you guys next week, and please don't forget to subscribe.